I'm giving all the teacher vibes today. I'm okay, sis. Garden. Yes. Garden. Garden. Is this good? Okay. Firstly, I feel like there's a lot of things going on at once in my head. So let's just get it out, friends. Gotta get my room just kind of spruced up a bit. Um, organized a little bit better. Last night, I um, made my way through a lot of the books and got them on the shelves. I am going to film an unboxing for the stuff that I got for a curriculum for the year. And then I just got... Um, a lot of that stuff just kind of sorted through and got it up on the shelves in their little cubbies slash locker situations just to organize it better for them to be able to use um, throughout the week. And now I just kind of have the remnants of what was on my desk kind of on their desk and I'm trying to slowly like purge some like earlier resources that I want to gift and give away. I'm just trying to make room. This is what the bookshelf looks like. I'm gonna clean this off. Like I said earlier, clean my desk off. And I've been trying to do this all while trying to take care of Lucy because he um, was neutered a couple days ago. All right, so it's 11.27 and I'm going to try to get this done in 30 minutes. <laughs> do y'all think I can get it accomplished? Then I'm gonna have to get this off, stick that up in there so I can slowly work on um, record keeping, which I'm excited about that. Maybe I'll share about that soon too because I wanted to make it a little bit more fun and memory keeping kind of deal. So I've been mulling over how I'm going to keep those things um, for them to refer back to as they get older. They can see what they worked on, what they wrote, what they studied, that type of thing. So um, these have been up here for a minute. So I'm just trying to get those down to make room for some new things. Before we start, I did, I did work my way through these. I need to go through my teacher cart and just kind of reorganize that and put on there what I actually need. I did kind of clear this off so that would give me a little bit more space for some resource books. Trying to find storage for books is a thing lately and it's a struggle out here, okay? So I'm trying to figure out where to put the big books. I actually might get rid of or gift or give away um, a lot of these things. We're just gonna make our way through. but I know I'm moving along so these things um, I cleared this off cleared out the desk uh, they already like initially cleared out their desk um, and tried to sort the best they could now I go through and clean it up and really sort you know <laughs> so I'm trying to gather all of their supplies I need to clean these out because you have lots of lead and other things. I'm just gonna wipe out the drawers. I, I am gonna go to Ikea and pick up some inserts so that things are not always just moving around in their drawers. I love little things like this. Not really gonna get rid of them, just moving them around. So before I put them up on his board, and I think now I'm just going to put it on their little cubbies slash home lockers. So yeah. Just stick it right there. Isn't that cute? Rather be fishing. On the shelf. All right, I took a little bit of time to cut out some pieces of 
things that I wanted to toss. So like I had the boxes for these books and then I had some old resources that had a lot of clear pages or pages, even pages that were used that I wanted to just kind of cut pieces out that I can use for ephemera for like scrapbooking, whether it's for me or for um, the kids. So I'm very happy about that. Got some nice pages that I can use for scrapbooking and things. I need to get to this binder here so I can update the printables that we use um, because the kids are well into middle school and high school now. So I just kind of wanted to make an adjustment and make it even more effective for them to use throughout the year. This little section over here is just stuff I need to, I'm basically gonna put it in my little divider for going through things for their records. And then this is just kind of a stack of notebooks and things that they have used in the past that I'm just gonna go through and kind of take out old pages and see if they can reuse them or pull them out to use them for their records. So I need to do that. What else? I stacked up things over here that is going that I'm gonna use for cleaning out my tier cart, my teacher cart. <laughs> trying to call my nephew. We're listening to his latest song and he's not answering the phone. I'm also procrastinating because we should have started our day already. But they just finished breakfast and we are about to go out for our first morning walk of the year. And I'm wearing these today. <laughs> She's got those on today. I did not plan a day yesterday. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi. Where are all my kids? There we go. Uno, dos, get down, get down. They're not that tall. Big smiles. <laughs> all right, let's go, friends. Also, I definitely had my fan on. It feels so good. <laughs> it keeps me from getting too hot. I'm constantly like putting a sweater on, taking a sweater off. Putting a shirt on, taking a shirt off. So maybe this fan will help and I can like look like a consistent human. She put her coffee in a to-go mug. Okay, sis. Garland. Yes. Garden. 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 Okay, let's garden. check the garden. Okay. And we have two cucumbers. My blocks. So it is. So you need less code for one animation. Okay. Is this good? This switch charge. This switch charge. This switch charge. And then I planted these with your feet. We got hair on the stems. Yes. Four. Okay. Green onions. More lettuce. Basil. Smells rosemary. good. Does it smell good? Yes. Rosemary, parsley, more lettuce, more lettuce, and I don't know. Finch? <laughs> Taking a break? <laughs> Alright, so um, we finished up our morning work. We walked through um, our Bible lessons and how that was going to go. And um, the kids are now getting themselves together for our first challenge of the year. We've got a family challenge going on and this time around we are building tree houses. So it's our tree house challenge, our first challenge of 2024. The kids are getting their stuff set up. I need some cardboard tubes for them to have as their base of their tree. Got lots of 
construction papers. So it's corrugated cardboard. Um, we've got them moving into different places, trying to get their thoughts together. We're going to have the interview portion soon. Cameron went to his place to build in Savannah. What did you say, Savannah? I said best of luck. Best of luck to you. <laughs> so yeah, it's our first building challenge of the year. Engineering slash building challenge of the year. I've got boxes over in the corner. We're watching, watching the Olympics in the background, of course. I'm also still working my way through cleaning up our school room, and that's okay. We still have up decorations from my baby girl's birthday. She's 11 now, so not really a baby girl, but you get what oh. I'm saying. I'm giving all the teacher vibes today. I'm just really loving these earrings. <laughs> okay, hurry up so you can get back to building. Thank you, sir. Kisses. <laughs> We also started Phantom Toe Booth today as our first read aloud of the year. This one fell asleep. She was up all night reading, so she fell asleep while I did my read aloud. Our chef is getting his lunch. I'm hungry. <laughs> Lovely. 